Today we're getting ready to install the side panels on our Glenelg Zip. We have the uh, port side bottom and the starboard side bottom installed. Fared off. Have our transition joints from the lap joint to a mitered butt joint. Uh, really, this is a miter joint for the first foot and a half, and then becomes a butt joint to the very tip of the bow. We have our splinter that. Uh, poke me, I'll have to glue that down and we have our lap joint in the bow and the transition, this is the same as on the chine where it goes from a lap joint to a miter joint as it goes to the rear to just a, a slight, slight miter joint to the transom. Here I have the port side panel preparing it to uh, dry fit it. And uh, I've prepared the notch and made my miter slide angle angles to being 90 degrees this step I'm dry fitting the um, port side side panel I've got my notch lined up it looks like I'm right at the transom. I've got an eighth of an inch at the transom, no more. It looks like it's lining up nice though. Got a nice consistent reveal. A little high here. My transition notch. I may have to do a little spiling here. Not much, not much. So I just wanted to uh, show you the sides and the bottom are installed. Side and bottom planking's installed on the zip. To uh, go over the uh, transition joint here in the bow where the uh, where it transitions from a butt joint to a lap joint before we trim this off. This is the way it should look. And uh, what else, Brent? We got uh, this transition, the, the lap joint on the bow stem. Let me just take a look at the overhang what you can expect about how much extra material overhangs the side, overhangs the bottom. We're pretty darn close in the transom here, 3 16 Looks pretty consistent on both sides. Seem to work out good. When we When we installed the sides, we started pretty much at the, we dry fitted the sides, <clears throat> had to work this joint a little bit, and pretty much use this as our starting point right here at the transition joint. Lined everything up to the joint we established here, making sure we had enough material to cover the transom in our bow. That's pretty much it.
screw three inches on center, the number eight flathead. Three quarter. Three quarter inch. And then the bow is the one inch, number eight. On the stem, poured into the Glen L plan. And we use the uh, one inch in the transom as well. Turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Kind of fiberglass it, flip it over, go boating. See you next time. See you on the water. Till next time.